What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here, back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, what we're going to be talking about is something that I get asked all the time by my YouTube subscribers, all the time on Twitter, all the time just everywhere that I communicate with you guys, and that has to do with making coins. Now, this is something that, of course, it should be pretty obvious. There are, you know, real obvious ways to make coins, buying packs, you know, doing solo challenges, playing in head-to-head uh, -head seasons games, even playing in wager games and things like that, working the market, all that kind of stuff, right, guys? But today, I'm going to show you specifically why you can make a ton of coins just by paying attention. So here, let's take a look here. The very first thing that pops up right now on my Madden 15 Ultimate Team screen when I hop in is hashtag Mutt Season Update. With the regular season over, it's now Mutt Season. Check out all the newly released solo sets and players. And of course, there's Barry Sanders there on the left. Now, I want you guys to look through this. This is going to be interesting. So here's the deal. Click on this. I want you to take a look and see how many coins that you can get by doing the Mutt Gauntlet. Now, here's what it says. Challenge yourself against every NFL team in the Mutt Gauntlet. The further you progress in the gauntlet, the better the rewards get. Complete the entire gauntlet to earn the ultimate master collectible. So here we go. Let's click on it. Now, first thing you're going to see, the very first solo that pops up is against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I already completed this one, and you have to complete them in order. But it's only for 250 coins. However, it is only on Rookie. So it's not very difficult. It should be very, very easy, no matter how bad your team is, that you should be able to accomplish and, you know, beat the Rookie, I would hope, by most of you guys at this point. Uh, rookie difficulty is pretty, pretty simple. But you can keep moving up. You can go up to 500 coins here, play against Ryan 915's Titans. And then you move up to play against the Raiders, 750 coins. And that's how far I've gotten so far. So this is, you know, real, real early in it for me. But I'm planning on doing this whole thing. Now, all of these first set of, of solos here are on the rookie difficulty. And you're going to see they go up by 250 coins for each one. So each one that you complete, you get 250 more coins than you did the previous one. All us, when it's all said and done, though, you, you are going to be ending up playing games in the pro difficulty, as you can see here, and the teams are going to get better as well. 84, 84, 85, 86, 86, 87, and you start to go up in difficulty as well. Like I said, the pro difficulty, and then you're going to move up here to the all pro difficulty as well, and it's going to start to be more and more coins, but you're also going to uh, be playing, it, like I said, against a higher difficulty. Now, when you get all the way up here to the end, when you start playing the Seahawks and then you play the Patriots, the Seahawks, you get 9,500 coins for and a veteran pack. That's something that's pretty cool as well. They throw in some packs in some of these random solo challenges as well. And then in the Patriots one, you get 10,000 freaking points. Now these ones, the, the top ones here are going to be on the All Madden difficulty. So anything that's, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it looks like pretty much all the all the top teams. Uh, yeah, here we go. The Cardinals and above are all going to be on the All Madden difficulty. So that is going to be pretty difficult. However, it's not going to be that bad. And if you do all of it, you're going to get a ton of coins. Because like I said, it, it's basically going up a, a good increment each and every time. Now, when you complete all of these, you're going to have one final solo challenge. This is the, this is the 33, or 33rd solo challenge, excuse me. And this one is for 50,000 coins. 50,000 coins. And then you also get the collectible that you need to complete the ultimate master set. Now, 50,000 coins is not cheap. I mean, that is a that is a baller, baller, baller uh, a reward that you get for doing just a solo challenge. Now, don't get me wrong. This is going to be a repulsively hard team to beat. These guys are on all Madden difficulty, and it's going to be full of legend players. So it's going to be very, very difficult to win. But if you can do it, once you, I mean, once you start to play through these other ones, you're going to figure out what plays tend to work against the computer. And what I'm going to tell you, use the clock to your advantage. Use the clock to your advantage when you're doing these solos. Um, watch my earlier video, and I'll link that here uh, in the description below, on how to uh, win solo challenges really, really quickly, because that's going to be something that you're going to want to do here, especially on the lower difficulty ones, uh, where you just can you know, breeze through it, score once, maybe twice, and just get through the solo challenge real quickly. But 
even on these more difficult ones, even on the ones where it's going to be a challenge for you to score and to stop them, I want you to make sure that you're running the clock. Don't give them the ball with enough time that they can move down the field. The computer generally doesn't beat you deep in this game. Uh, I mean, it can still happen, but they tend to throw underneath. So if you only give them 30 seconds left in the half or at the end of the game, they're not going to be able to typically move the ball down the field quite that quickly. So again, just make sure that uh, you're utilizing the clock and uh, taking advantage of that. Now, if you do all of these set or if you finish this entire uh, set of solo challenges here, you're going to get 191 thousand coins so almost 200 thousand coins just in solo challenges and then on top of that you're also going to get a ton of different things first of all you're going to get two bad two two badge packs so that's a total of four badges and two three badge packs so that's going to be a total of 10 badges as well as four pro packs and four veteran packs. So if you add all of those pro packs and veteran packs up and you you know calculate how many coins they would cost, that's an additional 100,000 coins. Pretty nice. Pretty pretty nice. I mean, you're if you if you add it all together, you're nearly reaching 300,000 coins just in the coins. And and, uh, and the packs, of course, uh, and that doesn't even take into consideration that you could pull something really great out of one of those packs. So, I mean, we're talking some serious coins here just to do the solo challenges. I highly, highly recommend that everybody does these solo challenges. It's very, very, um, it's, it's not very often that you're going to get this type of uh, reward for doing your, your different your different solo challenges so uh that's one thing now the other thing that i want you guys to be aware of as well is these new sets that are in the game now when i say new they're not absolutely brand new but um they're definitely ones where you're gonna want to take a look at these so first of all uh once you get all of these done you're gonna get uh you're gonna end up getting the barry sanders which uh you know obviously people that grind and grind and um you know, and, and spend the coins to actually be able to do this. Yeah, you're going to get an amazing Barry Sanders card. But even if you don't want to do that, you can make some big time coins just by paying attention to what you can pull in some of these packs. Now, uh, one thing that I want to show you guys is some of the cards that are going for a ton. Uh, I just want to show you quickly one that I had that I didn't even realize was going for a lot. I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. Uh, a mini Silla Tolu, I think is how you pronounce it. And he's 72 overall. He's a left guard for the Carolina Panthers. And he's going for about 20,000 coins. So I'm going to end up selling him. It's very unlikely that I'm going to sit and do all of these sets. So I'm probably just going to end up taking the cards and selling them. But I want you guys to make sure that you're paying attention to what silver cards are going for a lot and one way that you can figure that out is to either go to ea sports's website and check out their mutt database or the easier way is to actually go to mutthead.com and mutthead.com is a mutt database they have a ton of different ways that you can look through the cards in this game and although their their numbers might not be 100 accurate to what's currently on the trade block or the auction block they are going to be at least a good indication of roughly how much some of these cards are going for. So I went on to Mutthead and uh, all that I did was go over and, you know, search by by uh, silvers. So I found the, the silver cards. I, I clicked on that thing within the database and I found the most expensive silver cards. And I just went through and saw if any of them were on my team. And this one here, a mini Silatolu, was one of the top ones. One of the ones that's worth the most. So that was great to see. I would have probably quick sold this card if I didn't know any better. So, I mean, now we're talking about that your silver cards actually have some value. And there's even bronze cards in here as well, so pay attention to those. But guys, before you quick sell anything right now, just go through and make sure that none of the cards that you're quick selling are actually go into these sets. Because if they go into these sets, they're probably going to at least be worth more than what you're quick selling them for. Probably not going to be worth the 20,000 co uh, coins like the uh, mini Silatolu was, but still a decent little chunk of cards or uh, coins at a time, you know, it adds up. It just adds up. Now, uh, real quickly, I thought this was kind of funny. If you look over there on the left, I noticed this before I started recording the video, but... Um, for some reason, it says you earn the Packers silver trophy under the Panthers. I'm going to assume that they mean the Panthers, and they probably just copy and paste it. But anyways, thought that was kind of funny. Now, the last thing that I kind of want to show you guys today um, 
in regards to figuring out how to make another little bit of coins is actually something that I don't think a lot of people are thinking about. And that is actually these packs that nobody really looks at anymore. So we have currently the legend packs were introduced into the game today. And there's also legacy packs, uh, which I'm going to have to take a closer look at these because they could be something pretty epic. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what's, what's going to be in those. Um, but here we go. We've got pro packs as well, and then we've got a gold value pack. I already purchased one of those early in, in the season. But this rookie pack, this is something that people don't really purchase anymore. And the reason for me pointing this out is actually because it's going to contain three, or three bronze players and two silver players. Kind of interesting. So why don't we open up one of these real quickly and and I'm going to I'm going to tell you the reason that I'm bringing this up is because you can actually pull cards that are worth way more than 2500 uh coins right now out of these rookie packs. So if you're somebody that's just getting into Mutt and you want to find out a way for you to really grind your way to getting more coins in addition to doing those solo challenges, go on here and purchase some of these rookie packs because they don't cost a ton, but you can actually pull some stuff that's actually valuable. Now, this Quentin Groves here, it's a free agent, but there actually is a free agent set that you have to complete, which contains 80 cards, and Quentin Groves is one of them, for sure. I remember seeing him on there. I believe he's worth something like 15,000 coins. So guys, we just crushed this rookie pack on one card, and these other ones potentially could be in these sets as well. So, I mean, it's definitely worth it to open up some of these rookie packs. So definitely pay attention to that, and like I said, guys, you can make some coins on that. You really can. It's going to take you a lot longer, obviously, to do that, but it's pretty rare, I would say right now, that if you open up a rookie pack that you're not going to at least get your coins back. And I'll tell you something right now. If I open up a pro pack right now, chances are I'm not going to make my coins back. So keep that in mind, guys. Don't throw away these rookie packs. Don't just, you know, forget about them because right now they actually have a little bit of value to them because they have some of those rare silvers that maybe you might have thrown away earlier in the season and people might not have on the auction block right now. So with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to put this one out here and give you guys just some some heads up things that you might not be aware of right now on the ultimate team uh, auction block. And like I said, with these new solo challenges. So be sure to pay attention to those. Uh, make some coins, guys. Don't let this whole promo and this whole new set thing go to waste. Make some coins off of it. Be smart. Take advantage of those rookie packs. Do your solo challenges. Seriously, do the solo challenges. And of course, be sure to take a look at your individual binder. And if you're like me, you have a ton of stuff sitting in there. Don't forget about it. Look in that stuff. Make sure that you don't quick sell anything that's worth a ton of coins. So thank you guys for tuning into the video. Hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button below. And of course, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Hope to see you guys later today over on the stream over at twitch.tv forward slash TV. Thank you guys again, and I'll talk to you again soon.